Yes, I, I think I think so. Yeah, um, mostly because um some of the cultural similarities, um, you know, regarding carnival and, and some of the music that we 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 play in Aruba on the radio, you know, at home. I think carnival is a big, big part of it. It's how we celebrate carnival, similar to how other Caribbean islands celebrate it. Mostly like the Brazilian style, but it's very present in, in in the in the Caribbean. So I think that's a big part of it. Yes, definitely. You know, being in the Dutch Kingdom itself, um, if you if you meet a, a people from Aruba and a people from Holland, it's quite different. So I I think it's quite difficult for us to call ourselves you know like Dutch, even though we, we are Dutch nationality, but culturally there's a big gap. So it's kind of more difficult to call us to call ourselves Dutch, so I think we still identify with our own island, which is, you know, Aruba. And even though it's not a real nationality, culturally we do identify as, as being Aruban. So it's not it's not difficult to distinguish distinguish the two cultures and the two ethnicities. So it's not like... Um, um, yeah, that, that's a tricky question, because I think Aruba has kind of like a... An identity crisis, almost like <laughs> we identify with a, with a lot of different cultures. So I'm um, growing up in Aruba. You automatically speak Spanish. You listen to salsa again, and we dance this music growing up. So we kind of also identify with South American culture, but we're not really a South American country. We're a Dutch, a European Dutch colony. So um, yeah. I wouldn't call myself more South American than 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 being a Dutch person, but I do identify a lot with some Dutch, um, some South American culture, especially regarding um, um, the music. Uh, again, going back to music, mm-hmm. uh, we do grow up in this culture, and, and a lot of the food is similar as well. So, and especially Colombian and Venezuelan food, which which is the two major countries in South America that is the closest to us and we do have a lot of influx of these people on the island. So my mother tongue is, is Pabiamento, which is the local language. I grew up speaking that at home with my parents and with my family. Um, at, at school we learn Dutch, so that's all our school materials are in Dutch, so we kind of we have to learn that. Um, we also speak Spanish, again, because of all the influx of the Latin American countries, we kind of pick up Spanish growing up. And of course, English, we also speak English, because mostly in, in the media, you know, TV growing up, it's all in American English and American shows, so we kind of pick up pick that up also growing up. I, I wouldn't say it's necessary. Um, it's Growing up in Aruba, you, it's just the way it is. The school materials are all in Dutch, so we just pick it up, but... Um, I would say if you're somebody that wants to move to Aruba, it's not like, oh, I need to learn Dutch to move there. It's, it's not necessary. But, but growing up there, yes, you will learn Dutch. Um, for me, it was just how it was, you know. We didn't know any, we didn't know difference, you know. It's like, oh, yeah, we speak Pavimento school, and yeah, the, the school materials are in Dutch. We've never, I've never thought about it growing up, at least. Um, I know now there's a movement that they want to change that. And I don't know if I agree with that or not. The reason they want to change it is because they think um, teaching the kids in their native language will be more, will be a better, will be better to teach them in their native language. They will understand the material easier. Um, if that is the case, that I am for it. If not, I, I really don't care. In Aruba, it's just Papimendo and Dutch. It depends. Television is English, but everything else, like local stuff, is all about the If the material is international, it will be English. If it's local media, then it's Papiamento. No, I mean, English is, is, is the most beneficial because of the tourism sector. Or at least for me, there's no sentiment towards preserving it or not. We don't really see it being diminished. At least not. I don't see it. So I don't think there's any movement to protect it or anything like that. Our own people are 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 switching over to English or or, or, or Dutch. Really, every all every every young kids are all speaking Papiamento, and you also find a lot of people moving to Aruba, kind of wants to learn it. It's a mixture in all this. People kind of you know see it as something cool to learn. In my opinion, I don't see that there's any really push on the language to go this or that direction or to preserve it, because I don't think there's any need yet. I would say neither is, is really important. 
I mean, if you go to Aruba and you can only speak English, you'll get along. You'll get you'll get along fine. Um, the same as you only speak Dutch, you'll get along fine. If you only speak Papiamento, I think it would be a little more difficult because there is a lot of people from Holland. But when you consider that most Dutch people can only also speak English, it's not very important to be able to speak Dutch. Neither is it very important to be able to speak Papiamento. Um, you you will always find a middle ground. Like even if you come to Aruba and you speak Spanish. 90% of the uh, the Aruban population can also speak Spanish, so we kind of we kind of um, make you comfortable with whatever language you speak. This younger generation growing up, spending more time on the internet and YouTube, I do see that there's more influence from um, for them to speak English a little bit more, or at least use more English words than we did growing up. Being multilingual um, plays a big role because. Papiment itself is, is, it consists of languages, that's true, but, but most languages consist of, has influence of other languages. And that doesn't necessarily mean that that population grows up multicultural. But in Aruba, it's, it's different. It's just because of the situation, we, we grow up with four languages already. We, we don't learn Spanish in school, we grow up knowing Spanish. The same with Dutch, the same with Papiment and English. So it, it kind of gives you a window into other culture, cultures more easily when you can speak the language and when you grow up speaking the language. So we have, diff- we have different words for the same things, but it's not, it's not a lot. I think it's just some weird words. And the accent is also very different. I mean, you can... I think me, us, in, us in Curacao is on the other side of the different spectrum regarding accent. They, they speak more of like... A, um, the, the tone goes up when we finish the word, and our tone goes down when we finish the word. And uh, in Bonaire, it's kind of in the middle. It's kind of in between us and them. Not really, no. Except if you go to um, the south region, which is San Nicolas, a lot of people tend to speak English. But I think that, that ge- ge- um, demographic comes from um, other Caribbean islands who were speaking English and there, I think there was an, I don't, I'm not sure about this history, but I think there was an influx from the other Caribbean islands to work on the refinery back in the days, and they brought the English. So that part of the island kind of speaks more English and, and Papiamento, but they kind of stick to English. But between the rest of the islands, the Papiamento itself doesn't really vary that much. I really don't have any opinion on it culturally or, or emotionally, but legally I think it's great. Having a European passport gives you access to, like, come easily to work here or, or in Germany or in Spain or in whatever. And I think that's a great benefit to, you know, all the Ruben people. I mean, the only thing I can say is that um, now they want, they're experimenting to give um, classes the schools in Pavimento, but I don't think that's really to conserve the language itself. It's just really to see if they can improve the education system. Now, the government communication is all in Dutch. So when they're communicating with the public, like an announcement, everything is in, in Papiamento. But if, if they're writing a letter to you, if you're receiving a letter from the government, okay. it will be written in Dutch. So I guess legal, the legal stuff are in Dutch, but like it's not like our politicians are running their campaign in, in Dutch. It's just Papiamento. And if they're giving a speech in Papiamento, 